Hey Star Wars fans, Jonesy here again with another entry into the Hyperspace Database. Today's topic, the sleek yellow starfighter from Naboo, the N1 Starfighter. The N1 Starfighter was the primary ship of the Royal Naboo Security Forces and was used for patrol missions, security missions, as well as escort duties. The N1 was 11 meters long and was powered by two J-type Nubian engines which allowed the craft to reach speeds of 1,100 kilometers per hour in atmosphere. It was equipped with a Class I hyperdrive system and deflector shields. The N-1 was armed with two laser cannons and two proton torpedo launchers that housed five torpedoes each. The two cylindrical modules on the wings of the craft housed heat sinks to cool the engines. The long tail of the fighter housed a power collector that collected excess energy from the craft, as well as being able to connect to custom outlets in the hangar on Naboo to transmit data and refuel. The N-1 was developed by the Theed Palace Space Vessel Engineering Corps, and its shapely design and bright colors reflected the cultural taste of the people of Naboo. The N-1 was light, fast, and maneuverable, but suffered in tight spaces and as a ground assault craft. The N-1 was most notably used during the battle for Naboo against the Trade Federation as depicted in The Phantom Menace, and then as an escort ship at the beginning of Attack of the Clones. The ship was also used during the Clone Wars by Ahsoka Tano, as she trained Padme Amidala in her all-chrome N1. The N1 is a popular craft to appear in many of the Star Wars video games, appearing in the Rogue Squadron game series as an unlockable craft, Battle for Naboo with an additional police cruiser variant, Starfighter as a secret cheat code, and in the new Battlefront 2 game as an unlockable craft. The N1 was seen sometime after the Battle of Endor, when Leia Organa and Shara Bey fought against Imperial forces over Naboo to destroy a weather-altering satellite. Aiden Versio also fights against a modified N1 starfighter piloted by Lee Makai around the time of The Force Awakens, which substituted proton torpedoes for seismic charges. By then, the ship was considered an antique, but the fact that it was used for so long was a testament to the quality and reputation of the N1 starfighter. Well guys, that's it for this episode. Be sure to stick around at the end to see some secret trivia. Did you guys like this episode? Let us know in the comments if you did and tell us what ship you'd like to see next. Check out our other videos and be sure to click those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you guys so much for your support and we will see you next time.